Hi, kiddo. I'm Grandma Goody, and I'm here to tell you a Bible story. But first, Bo wanted to come up and get a hug. This is part two of God Made Everything Good. You can go back and watch part one, but here's what was in it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created light and separated it from darkness. God made the sky and clouds, the land and the seas or oceans. And God made plants and trees with fruits and vegetables and seeds to make more. That's about where we left off. So let's pick up there. And so God made these two great lights to light the daytime. So there we have the sun that lights the daytime and the moon over here to light the nighttime. And God also made stars and put those up there too. So I thought those are nice, happy little stars. They made me happy. Uh, I don't think the real stars have like smiley faces on them. <laughs> uh, and for all this stuff, you know, these are just to show you the idea of the sun or the idea of the moon and the stars. You wanna see the real thing God made? Wherever you are on this earth, you just go outside and you look up. Don't stare at the sun, the way it'll hurt your eyes. But you could see the sun in the daytime and you could find and see the moon at the nighttime. And so uh, these are just to show you here uh, kind of the idea. And so God set these lights in the sky to mark the daytime and the nighttime. And God saw all of this and he said, that's good. And evening passed and morning came, and that marked the fourth day. And then God said, let the seas teem with every kind of fish and put birds up in the sky with every kind of bird. And the Lord made all kinds of sea creatures. Uh, here, I just got a few, like there's an octopus and a crab, and then there's another fishy and a, a seahorse, all kinds of sea creatures. This one wanted to peek up and see what was going on on land. That's a dolphin. But you can imagine all the sea creatures. And then the Lord said, of all these creatures, let them each reproduce to make their same kind of creatures so that they would keep having more of the same kind. And so for here, I found a, I found a little family of a chickie and a rooster and they got two little baby chicks. So that's to remind us that God said to let the animals and the creatures make more of their same kinds of creatures. And, and that's, there's a little bird family. Uh, and God saw it and he said it was good. And evening passed and morning came and that was the fifth day. Now, day six is going to be a very busy day for God because he's going to create all the animals. And uh, first he starts off with uh, the livestock, like the cow. There's another cow and uh, a little sheep and a little horsey. Put the horsey uh, right there and a donkey. He doesn't really, uh, he's not up that close to the sky. just need a room for him. And then the little koala bears sitting there in the tree. They like to eat the leaves. And uh, a little raccoon scurrying along the ground. And he said he did the other little animals. That's a cute little, uh, I think that's like a hamster or a, a guinea pig. We'll put that there. So he made all of the um, livestock. And then I found one that kind of looks like Bo. So I wanted that in there. Although this one's white. Bo's not white. He's tan. But... Uh, I'm putting in a little doggy and a kitty cat because I have a kitty cat. And then after that, God made all the wild animals. Now, I don't know if you ever saw wild animals, but if you go to a zoo, look at all the different kinds. Like here we have a leopard and a rhinoceros and a... Oh, here's a giraffe. Now, giraffe likes to eat from the tree. So I'm going to put him right over here snacking like that. And then there's a gorilla and uh, a lion, roar! I like lions, but I only like them when they're uh, safely behind a, a cage where they can't get me. And same thing with the tigers, and then a big old elephant, and uh, 
Oh, there's a monkey. They like to play in the trees too. So I'm gonna put him over here playing in the tree. And then I, uh, there's a pretty little striped black and white zebra and a, a panda bear. And I'm gonna put him right there. So you, you got all the animals, you've got all everything. And, uh, and God looked at all of that and that's all good too. And then God decided it was time to make people. And so God said, let us create human beings in our own image. And in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, God created them. And so I just did a little cutout here of, of a, a man and a, a woman. But God said that he made human beings special in his own image. And he wanted the human beings to rule over and to take care of the all the creatures in the sea and all the animals. And God looked over all that he had made and he said, that is very good. That is excellent. And evening passed and morning came and that marked the sixth day. Now, I want you to be able to read this for yourself in the Holy Bible, exactly the way God said it. So let me show you where that is. This one, you're going to look in the Old Testament. And the name of the book is Genesis. Now, that word Genesis means beginnings. And the chapter is chapter one, very first chapter in the Bible. And then the verses are verse one all the way to verse 31. And if you're using the secret code, you're going to look for G-E-N, the number one, and the two dots, and then one through 31. I want you to remember, Grandma Goody loves you, but God loves you more.